What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be reviewing the Pen Battle 2 3000 spinning reel. Pen makes this reel in sizes 1000 to 8000 and I own a number of them but today I want to talk about the 3000. This reel is widely regarded as the best bang for your buck for an inshore saltwater spinning reel. Now over this past year I've put this reel through the ringer and I'm going to talk about my experiences with it but first I want to just talk about the specs of the reel itself. Now this reel comes equipped with Penn's HG100 carbon fiber drag washers, which is their second highest uh, drag material. So I've never had any issues with it. It always works really smooth and really well. It's capable of putting down 15 pounds of drag and you're gonna see that come into handy in the clip at the end of this video. It's made with five sealed stainless steel ball bearings, which really makes it quite a smooth reel. The instant anti reverse bearing on this reel is actually really good. Even after all this use, it barely slips at all when I try to go backwards. It has a 6 to 1 gear ratio, which allows it to retrieve 35 inches of line per crank, which is pretty impressive for a reel of this 3000 size class. And it comes with all of Penn's modern features, like the line capacity rings, which lets you know how much line you have left, as well as that rubber band on the inside of the spool, so you don't need to back it with mono. Based on the type of fishing that I do with this reel, I chose 20 pound braid, and this reel holds 180 yards of that 20 pound braid, so that's a decent capacity, pretty much all you're going to need for inshore back bay type fishing. Now this reel has been on the market for over four years now, so it's definitely not a new product by any means, but I definitely think it's the best bang for your buck on the market for an inshore small saltwater spinning reel. I'm going to post a link in the description box of this video for those of you who want to check it out. Now I'm going to give you guys a little field test demonstration just to show you how this reel works in a tough situation. Now the following footage is me using this reel to fight a bullnose ray, and for those of you who don't know about bullnose rays, they're a very fast moving, hard fighting fish to fight. They're usually about 20 pounds, so it's really gonna put this reel to the test. Let's see how it does. Now this is where I hooked the cow nose ray. I was very confused at first about what it was because it fights almost like a bluefish and not like any other type of ray. They go for these long, fast runs, just like a game fish. This makes them far more fun to catch than any other species of ray. Now visually, they may not seem scary like other stingrays, but they have quite a toxic stinger on them. This time of year is breeding season for cow nose rays, and they will congregate into these huge schools, which is apparently what came through. Cow nose rays reach maturity at about 4 to 5 years and can live 16 to 18 years, and their gestation period is 11 to 12 months, even longer than humans. Now, they can grow up to 45 inches and 50 pounds, but that places them as a relatively small species of ray. These high speed runs are really putting this little reel to the test. Now their range extends all the way from Brazil up to New England, migrating north in the spring and south in the fall. Come on. Come on in. Now you'll often see cow nose rays in aquariums in the petting section, of course with the stingers removed. There we are. Cow nose ray. nose ray. It does have a stinger. After a quick picture, I safely released her and she swam off strong. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and remember to ring that bell for notifications and future content. I'll see you all in the next video.